life. It can be so unfair. Just look at these two handsome devils. They're worth 30 million bucks and they're barely 30. They've got beautiful cars and beautiful cribs. And in case you're not jealous enough, they spend their days producing some of the very best <laughs> cannabis containers on the market. What? Thought I was gonna say something else, didn't you? Let's make that money. Let's do it. Yeah, these old buds found a clever way to cash in around the green rush. Now, they're living the high life. Popping these bottles made us blue collar millionaires. We took the right risk at the right time, and now we are reaping the rewards. 15, all right. All right, I think we're good for delivery. I'm Nick. And I'm Dallas. And, and we're, we're the, the founders, founders of Kush Bottles. Bottles. We're servicing almost half the country now as a packaging provider in the cannabis industry. Five bags of uh, joint tubes, let's do a... When we first started Kush Bottles, really all we focused on was the pop top bottle. You hear that? Yep. Sounds like money. And now we carry every type of product that you would see inside a dispensary. From all of the packaging, to the glass, to papers, even bud gloves to cover your hand. Last year, we were ranked in the Inc. 5000 fastest growing companies in the United States. We're really changing the way people look at the legal cannabis industry. And it's no wonder Nick and Dallas have accomplished so much together. For these two, success has always been a slam dunk. We met at college prep high school in San Jose, California, where we played basketball together. In college, I started Pac My Dorm, which was a moving and storage company for college kids. I got involved, and next thing I know, I'm moving pianos out of a four-story condo. So I knew that whatever we did next, we were gonna be 50-50 partners because I was tired of working for them. <laughs> and that's exactly what their business was, a joint venture. One day we were out at lunch sitting with another friend who had a marijuana dispensary, and he had trouble figuring out how he was gonna order his bottles. And at that moment, we realized there's a gigantic opportunity. We knew the medical marijuana scene was happening in Orange County, California. So we literally packed up our whole place and just moved down. And from there, Kush Bottles was born. Washington, 2,400, and Oregon, 3,700. We hit gold. Yeah! We bought bottles, pop top bottles. We knew we could sell them, and we worked nonstop. We were doing everything. Unloading, filling up the warehouse, loading the trucks, delivering to customers. Day after day, we saw our business continue to grow. And the reason for their growing success? One, two, three, keep it juicy! Nick and Dallas were more into packaging than partaking. We knew what a lot of our competition looked like. They were stoners. Oh, guys, looks like we have a defect here. Uh -oh. Yeah. That's why we have the operator here. Being entrepreneurs in other industries, we wanted to take that same level of professionalization and bring it to the legal cannabis industry. And we did that with developing products that were pharmaceutical grade and child resistant. We did that by working with lawyers, by working with doctors, and we deliver that level of service that our customers have come to now expect from a packaging provider in this industry. All right, here we go. We hit goal. We're going to spin the wheel. $15! We have three facilities. They're all over 15,000 square feet and combined value of about $2 million in inventory at any given time. All right, so uh, here a brief overview is I have every team member's name as well as the uh, stock options that will be assigned to them. In our first full year of business, we may have barely done six figures. Yeah, 95 grand, I think. <laughs> as we know, Q3 is going to be much bigger than Q1 and Q2. Oh, yeah. Last year, we did over $4 million. We're one of the biggest players in the industry. But guys like Nick and Dallas aren't content with being players in just one industry. We enjoyed building Kush Bottles and growing it so big that we started another company called Big Rents in 2012. Big Rents is the nation's largest rental network with over 7,000 construction equipment rental yards. Forklifts, scissor lifts, boom lifts, big job sites. That's what Big Rents helps facilitate. Big Rents started doing less than half a million dollars. Last year, the company did over 30 million in revenue. We now have successful businesses that together generate over $50 million in revenue a year. Engineering, all your guns are illegal. You guys got to get rid of those. We're 30 years old. We're worth about $30 million, but that's not what motivates us. What motivates us is continuing to build the business. We're still in the exact same grind. Our surroundings have just changed.
And in these new surroundings, the grass is definitely greener. My house is any married couple's dream. We have hardwood floors, marble countertops, a kitchen and dining room to die for, a 60-inch flat screen, and of course, an upstairs rooftop deck. If you're gonna spend a lot of money decorating your house, you gotta make sure the master bedroom is up to par. Nick, I think we might need some more pillows. Whatever you want, sweetie. When I asked her to marry me, I bought her a six-figure diamond ring. This ring is the best purchase I ever made. It got her to say yes. Welcome to my two-bedroom condo here in Orange County. I'm only here for a year while I remodel my new house. I live in a 3,000-square-foot penthouse with 80-inch flat screens and a closet to die for. I got to have the flyest nits. This closet right here is worth more than a quarter million dollars. And these are my pride and joys, the Air Marty McFlies. I even got two pairs of them, 10 grand a piece. My whole shoe collection is worth over 100 grand. Who knew I'd be able to afford all of this from selling tiny little colorful bottles? We didn't want to go sit in some desk from 9 to 5 and bitch to our friends on the weekend about how much we hate our jobs. Monday is my favorite day of the week. It seriously is. Yeah, I hate Fridays. 500 boxes. Yep. Yep. Yep, indeed. For these two budding moguls, the buzz has yet to wear off. Boom! Boom. Is it a sale? Is ah. it a sale? Woo! Ah. Ah. Ah.